Hello, and thanks for tuning in to GamerU, your home for the best tips and tricks for the hottest games. Today we will be taking a look at Rival Knights for the iPad. While there are many games that have main menus filled with options, Rival Knights keeps it simple just like much of the game. When you first start the game you are brought to an extremely simple menu with two options, events and play. There are also buttons for the event leaderboard, settings, and in-game messages, but they are small and normally aren't used much. By clicking on events, you are taken to the game's current events, which I will go into more details about in another video. On the other hand, by clicking play, you are taken to a menu that shows your knight on the screen and his stats to the left. The bottom of the screen features five options. They are helms, armor, horses, lances, and emblems. These are the five things that you can customize about your knight to make him stronger and unique. While the first four of these options will have an effect on your knight's stats, the last one is where you can customize the emblem that your knight will have representing him each and every joust. This part is just a nice way to make your knight more yours. This secondary menu offers another large play button, which will take you to the story mode of the game so that you can try and make your way through the leagues. All in all, the game keeps the main menu simple and easy to navigate. This makes it easier to focus on the game and its graphics and enjoy them for everything that they are. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching and make sure to keep coming back to GamerU for the best tips and tricks for your favorite games.